I do a quick update on this. I had this skin itching, rashy problem, and I had to look it up because I've had it before and I didn't know what it was. Um, here we go with the glasses again. Sorry about that. And I know these are really ugly glasses, but I need them to see. So um, I'm not wearing my contacts because it's the weekend and I never wear them on the weekends. I let my eyes rest. Um, but what I had, it looks like it's something called erythema which is a redness of the skin or mucous membranes caused by hyperemia in superficial capillaries. And hyperemia is just increased blood flow. And I'll put, I don't have it right now, it's gone away, but I'll put the picture in here so you can see it. Um, it's just like these flat red splotches and they just, it just, my skin will start itching and I'll start scratching. And when I look at it, there are these red splotchy dots. And I've had it before and I didn't know what it was from. You know, it was just kind of a weird thing that happened. And so when I got it this time, I've had it like twice before. And it's always on my arm here. And I, the way it itches, it kind of feels like when you have the um, the needle in for an IV or like when you're doing the chemo and they stick the, well, it's an IV needle, um, but it reminds me of the way that starts itching after about an hour or two and you want to just get it out because it's like driving you crazy. And so it's that kind of itchiness and so this morning I took the time and I actually looked something up before I started posting and I'm getting awful glare in my glasses. Sorry about that, but I have to read. Um, so it turns out it looks like, or not it turns out because I haven't had this diagnosed, but it looks like it's erythema and the cause um, and I'm getting this from Wiki, you know, I like went to some cancer sites and then went to Wikipedia to get a definition. So, um, erythema is a common side effect of radiotherapy treatment due to patient exposure to ionizing radiation. So, it looks like it's being caused by the radiation. Um, I don't know why it's coming in my arm and not you know like in my breast or you know somewhere on this side where I had the radiation it, but I guess when you lay there like this it just sort of gets it I don't know I don't know why it's in my arm I don't maybe it's from the chemo the radiation in the chemo I don't know um, but it's been about a month since I had it the last time so it's been quite a while but I wanted to just kind of make note of that and you know there it is it's and you know I had it I scratched at it for about five maybe ten minutes and then it didn't itch anymore the splotches remained for maybe half an hour and then they were gone so it's not like a rash you would really go to the doctor for it because it disappears so fast and I mean, you know, while it's itching, you could put something on it, you know, a, a corticosteroid cream or something, you know, a cortisone something, I don't know. But, you know, I was like in between, I was leaving work and going home. By the time I got home, it was done. So that was it. I, I mean, it goes that fast. So just one more thing. But I wanted to let you know that it was happening. It's something, you know, if it happens to you, it's, it's just kind of one of those things. So it's out there. And I just bought, I went to Costco and Ross this morning. Ah, <sighs> very busy morning. But I bought Tucker a dog bed since he can't jump up on the sofa and onto my bed anymore. So 
I bought him a nice cushy little bed for when I'm not here to lift him up. He can just lay on the dog bed and he's down there right now. Oh, he moved. No, he's still on the bed. Okay. Um, I can't really move the camera because, well, yeah, I can't really move the camera, but I took a picture of him. If you can see it without the glare. <sighs> I worry so much about him. Anyway, I'm waiting for a phone call from the doc, from the vet, the doctor, the vet. The vet is a doctor. Um, about his blood work. So then once I have the okay, I can start him on the anti-inflammatories and get him feeling better. And, you know, I can see the light changing and I can't figure out why it does this. Um, I'm using a, a little desk lamp that I bought at Walmart. It's just a little LED light. And I put a kitchen towel over it um, you know, just one of these white kitchen towels, dish towels that you use, um, look kind of like an old fashioned diaper and to kind of mute the light so it's not as glaring. But then I have the curtains on my sliding glass door open and when I notice whenever I open those curtains and I film, the light changes on the video and I don't know why there's nothing going by on the the walkway and it, it's just boggy out today there's no clouds going in front of the Sun um, there's almost no wind I can see one leaf out there twitching and that's about it so it's not like trees are swaying um, in fact, we don't have the kind of tree out there that sways, even if it is windy. So, um, you know, it's a big, sturdy mango tree. But yeah, I haven't figured out why the light f flashes. I haven't figured out why my face is... Oh, actually, I may have figured out why my face is splotchy, and I'm going to do another video on that. But um, anyway, so with the itch thing... I wouldn't worry about it if you get it it's gonna go fast um, if it does linger go talk to your um, oh god I'm gonna say obstetrician that is not right oncologist <sighs> very short oh too much going on in here just too much I can't handle it okay so again if you have Anything you want to hear about or that you want me to discuss, leave a comment down below or email me. And don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to hit that bell for notifications if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching. Aloha. I'm trying to use my little handy dandy Bluetooth to turn this off. <laughs> It only works like once, and then you have to turn it off and then turn it on again. Aloha. Do it the old-fashioned way.